Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Emmy 2009, celebrating outstanding achievement in television in San Diego, Las Vegas, Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo, Santa Maria, Bakersfield, and Palm Springs. Please welcome President Mary Ellen Eggleston and Vice President Suzanne Bartol Owen. Hello. I think that's my side. I know. We had different sides yeah, in rehearsal, that's my side. so I'm used to that side. Anyways, good evening and welcome to the 35th Annual Emmy Awards in the Pacific Southwest Chapter. I'm Vice President Suzanne Bartol Owen. And I'm Mary Ellen Eggleston, President of the Chapter. Welcome to everyone. I guess everyone knows now that the wine they're drinking is courtesy of the San Diego Wine Company. So if you haven't been served yet, you'll be served shortly. Tonight, tonight we celebrate our 35th anniversary. You see on the tables a complete list of the Emmy Award recipients in 1974. We have come a long way since then. You'll see that's only on the front and the back of each card. Tonight we will award statues in close to 80 categories and including several in the advanced media. Throughout the evening, you will hear some facts from 1974, and if you had any of those pop rock martinis, um, pop rocks came into uh, being in 1975, but we figured it was close enough. Let us first acknowledge a few important people who helped make tonight possible. We would like to thank the members of the Emmy Awards Committee and the 2008-2009 Natus Board of Governors you should be recognized for your hard work and the many hours that have gone into making tonight's show a success. We also want to thank some of the voices you'll be hearing tonight. David Drexler, who you just heard at the end of our open, our nominee real announcers, Paul Bloom, Jody Kodish, Marianne Cushy, and Robert Mutal. We would also like to thank Pam Waterman, our chapter executive director. Many of you spoke with her when making your reservations or submitting your entry. And Pam Graham. And let's not forget tonight's technical and production crew behind the scenes and our announcer, Dennis Reagan, off to my right. Or he was. Somewhere over right. there. Along with our volunteers, there are many generous partners supporting Emmy and our chapter scholarship program. Tonight we offer our appreciation and thanks to Altria, NBC 739, the San Diego Wine Company, Dan Eaton, Seville & Company CPA, Pureology, Legoland, Fresh & Easy, MSI, and the Hilton San Diego Bayfront. We would also like to thank all those individuals and companies that donated goods and services to our scholarship silent auction. They're listed in your program, and please let them know we appreciate their support. Now we present the dreaded Emmy rules. We have a lot of ground to cover tonight, so here are a few simple rules we ask you to follow. If the actual Emmy recipient is not here, Please, we ask that no one accept on their behalf. We'll be sure that they get their statue. If you would like to take their statue to them, you can do so by seeing Lizette on the, this side of the ballroom behind uh, after their name has been read. Now, one other thing. When accepting, please keep your comments to 30 seconds or less. If you hear music, your time's up. If your nominated project with three or more nominees earns the Emmy, you may all come up on stage, of course, but we ask that only one recipient speaks on behalf of the group, perhaps if it's somebody's first Emmy. And we ask that our very talented multiple Emmy recipients keep it brief the second or third time up to the podium. When accepting, please enter using the ramp and exit to this side of the stage to sign for your Emmy Award. Now on with the show. In 1974, 
The country's journalistic leaders were Walter Cronkite, John Chancellor, and Henry Riesner. Harry. Oops, Harry, sorry. She was very small in 1974. <laughs> Three. <laughs>